the forces, I think, you know, and we've discussed a lot about that today at the conference. It's about the, I think the demand for um, commodities is, is, is still growing and uh, uh, at a good pace. Uh, economy uh, are growing in, in China and in Asia in general, in India. The economy in the US is uh, very robust and the economy in, in Europe is also going well. So there has been for the last decade certainly a growth and the super cycle is, is continuing. Uh, what we've seen since 2015 and 2016, we had a correction in commodity prices and we've seen a pullback basically in capacity uh, expansion. I think the last big project that we have seen sanctioned in Australia was Rohill and that was in 2013, so it's already five years ago. So what we've seen over the last couple of years has been mostly a focus on cost and efficiency and on companies looking at their core strategy, getting rid of non-core non uh, non assets. Uh, but we haven't seen yet any much uh, capacity expansion. So we believe that there is a, um, a catch-up, that we are certainly coming to an inflection point where there will be a need for replacing finite resources and, uh, and uh, an investment back into more, uh, more expansion. So we believe that, that um, uh, certainly that, uh, uh, that gap, if you want, between um, the demand that has kept growing and the supply that has not invested very much over the last few years will start to have to, uh, to catch up. So certainly in terms of commodity, we expect commodities to to plateau or certainly uh, not maybe maybe stay about the same level um, and um, and we will see an expansion in in uh, an expansion growing if you want in terms of capacity